Welcome to day 30 of the coffee filter challenge. This is my last day of the challenge and thank you for following uh, my progress throughout this time. It's just been a great reminder of God's faithfulness to me and helping me uh, be disciplined and continue going in my artwork. And thank you for joining me. Here you have it, here the 30 day coffee filter challenge, all 30 paintings on my studio wall. It's been quite the journey, I've really enjoyed this process and I thank God for giving me inspiration and allowing me to make it through these 30 days. I know it's only because of Him. On the first day of this year, I saw this tea bag challenge that this artist had done where she had painted on used tea bags and for some reason that really stood out to me and I thought hmm I that would be cool to do I don't drink, drink tea but I do drink a lot of coffee so I had this idea what if I painted on coffee filters I had no idea where it would go I had no idea how it would turn out really the first one I did I wasn't even planning on doing it for multiple days it was just an idea to see what would happen, basically. But it was by, I think, the second or third day that, you know, I got finally got this idea to do it for 30 days and see what happens. So now as I reflect on this process of this 30-day challenge, and I look at the piece as a whole with all 30 coffee filters now put together, and as I reflect on what is this piece really about. I mean, from day to day I didn't really have a consistent theme and I didn't plan out the end result. But when I look at it now, I just believe that it's a reflection of my journey and really God's faithfulness would be the main theme I see here. You know, through the happy days, through the blessings, through the harder times, through those beautiful moments and through the dry desert places of life, the places where we can't feel God's presence. We know he's with us, but it may be really hard. There may be something happening that we can't control. And maybe you felt that way, maybe during COVID, you've felt that at times, some of that desperation. You know, life is filled with these happy moments, sad moments, these dark times. It's just an array of so many different things. And yet through it all, God is the everlasting God and he is the faithful, loving God. Even when we can't always see what he's doing, even when we can't feel his presence, he promises to be with us. And he is faithful. He is good. And sometimes it's in those times when we might feel distant from God, when he actually draws us near to him and where he meets us in our need. And so I feel like that's what he's done through my journey. And so I wanted to share as a closing to this project, a scripture that he brought to mind today that I think really reflects this idea. And so it's from the Book of Lamentations, which was written as a lament about the destruction of Jerusalem. And you know Jerusalem was the place where God dwelt among his people, um, the place of his presence and of his favor. And yet when the people rebelled and sinned against God, they were sent away from Jerusalem and they were exiled to Babylon. And so to see the temple to destroy, to see all these horrible things happen, it must have felt really sad and depressing and I wonder if the people just wondered at times where is God in all of this you know maybe you've wondered during the time of COVID and all this political division where is God but 
the truth is that God is right here and he's working and he's present even when we're not always aware of it and we know that because he's faithful to his word and his word never fails so I wanted to share you with you from Lamentations 3. I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness and the gall. I well remember them and my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I call to mind and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. So I pray for you today that God would remind you of his faithfulness and of his steadfast love, of his love that his mercies that are new every morning, no matter what you're going through right now, no matter how dark or dry it feels. Trust in God today and trust his word. And thank you for joining me in this process. God bless you all.